Hello everyone, my name is Chris and today we're going over another permissions plugin, um, specifically Permissions X. Now a few notes before you get started is that from a developer standpoint, this plugin doesn't do so well. It, it can override, I'm sorry, it does override some processes in Bucket and will might end up breaking them just because of, of how the plugin works. However, from a server admin standpoint, it does a very good job. So if you are just using the plugin and you don't have to worry about creating plugins or you don't have any custom plugins, you don't really have to worry about this breaking too much. Um, it does a really good job otherwise. It, it gives you a lot of customizability and lets you manage your users very well. Um, another note is that it currently, as far as I know, it does not work for 1.5. If I might put up an annotation if I'm wrong on that, or if somebody lets me know that it actually does. But as far as I know, it does not work. Um, it currently only works for Craft Bucket 1.4.7, a little up from that, a few revisions up and, and, and down. Um, but here, right here on the right side of my screen, is the Permissions X Bucket Dev page. Um, so you can see the most recent update is December 24th, the Craft Bucket 1.4.7 for Craft Bucket 1.4.7 revision 0 0.1. Um, so to get started, uh, you hit the download button and then you would hit download again. However, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, with Permissions X, you get three different separate plugins, uh, Chat Manager, Modify Worlds, and Permissions X. Now to get started, it gives you a .zip file with all of these three in there. So you just need some uh, archive file utility like WinWar or 7-Zip or whatever you prefer to open those and extract those files. So you extract those files into your plugin folder and the first thing you want to do is just run your server so it can generate those config files it needs. Now let's start. So it started. I'm going to stop it and close it down. Alright and then you go back up to your plugins folder, open that and you can see that it's generated those three files that we have there. So I'm going to open up, uh, oh, the first thing you're going to want to do, this is pretty important, is open up your chat manager file, oh, open it, go into config.yml and change this to true. You're also going to want to throw single quotations around these messages, these two messages right here. Um, personally, this is, oh, this is the message format for general messages. So when one user um, presses T and types into the chat, it's going to show the player name surrounded by a prefix and a suffix with um, those arrows. I don't know actually what they're called, but those arrows and then there are a space and the message. I don't really like that, so I'm going to delete those and put a colon because I think that looks pretty much, yeah, I just think it looks better. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit save. Um, the next thing we're going to go into is Modify World. Like, There's nothing really that we're going to go through right now with Modify World. If you're interested in customizing these messages, you can. I'll put links to Modify. I'll put links to everything in the uh, description. Um, but there's a whole bunch more options for Modify World. These are the messages if a player doesn't have permission, so you can customize all those. And there's a few options up here that you can go through. Um, but we're not going to go through that for right now. Um, and finally, the actual permissions config file uh, and permissions.yml. Now, the config file is just how um, permissions x saves the permissions. So we're just going to go with a, a straight flat file, um, specifically that permissions.yml. And we're not going to change that. And then open up permissions.yml is the actual permissions file. So this is what we'll configure. Um, to restrict access to certain commands and doing certain things on our server. Now I already have one made and it's on this third tab over here as you can see. Um, I'm just going to copy this over and then go through it and explain what each thing does. Now I used to have a really nice, I used to be all commented and I had yeah, different comments on what everything does. However, I think permissions X must have erased the comments, so I was kind of annoyed with that. Um, so I'm just going to go through and talk about each of those things. So first of all, we have our groups. As you can see, it's uh, right against the margin, um, and that's our groups. So our two main 
sections are groups and users. So first of all, we're going to go through groups. And here we have, what I have, one, one, two, three, four, five different groups. Um, our first one is guest. Um, and in the guest, we have one option uh, called default that's set to true. Essentially, that means that whoever joins your server will get automatically get the rank of guest. Um, and as you can see, um, I, you won't if a, if a player straight up joins your server, they won't appear in this file. It, the server will automatically assume that they are a guest. So that, that works out really nice. Um, then we have a, to set, we can set a prefix. And what this does, it sets this parenthesis right here to the color white. That's this. The, it used to be and f, so I'm just going to say that. So and f sets this parenthesis to white. And 7 sets this, the word guest, to gray. And then the and f sets it back to white again. And then I have a space here to separate, to put a space between the prefix and the player name in the message. And I'll show you what it looks like after. Next, we have uh, an options. And within that, we have a rank. Now, what the rank does is set the, the higher the rank, the lower you are. So if you rank 1,000 and someone else is rank 1, the rank 1 person is going to be considered maybe an owner, an administrator, whereas the rank 1,000 person is going to be really low. So it's kind of counter, but kind of not, depending on how you think about it. Um, however, that's how it works in permissions X. Um, and then for our actual permissions, um, I have a basic setup here. So this first one, modifyworld.chat, allows the player to speak. Um, now this, you see a dash, a space, and then another dash, modifyworld.build. This takes away the build permission. Um, players by default get modifyworld.build as far as I know, I, I believe they do. Um, so I have to specifically take that permission away for them not to get it. Um, next, I take away the modifyworld.chap.private so they can't slash tell somebody. Um, you don't have to. I, I prefer it because I think it restricts a user. And that way I can, you know, it makes it a better privilege, I guess, to get into the server. I don't know. You do, do whatever you want, obviously. Um, I also take the permission away to use beds and to use buckets so they can't pick up lava or put down lava or anything like that. Um, really, I just wanted to show you guys what you could do. Um, you get to customize it however you want. I'll, I'll link you guys to the all the nodes, the permission node pages and all the wiki pages and whatnot in the description. Um, next, I have player. So in player, they get white parentheses, I believe green, I believe players in green, I think two is green and then a, another white parentheses, and then a space, and then it will have their player, their actual name. Is this the con yeah, this is the config. So you can see that the prefix, which I'm setting in right here, so I set the prefix to this, it then displays the player name, and then a suffix. I'm not gonna define a suffix, because I, I have no need. I, I won't use it, but you guys could if you want to. You just add another line, suffix being, whatever, and you could define that as something if, if you wanted to. Um, I set their rank to 900 because it's a higher rank than guest. And then I set their permissions to dash modify world dot star. And what this means, they get every permission to modify the world. So they get to chat, they get to use tell, they get to use buckets, beds, private chat, they get to build, et cetera, et cetera. And I will again link you to those uh, permission nodes after. So we open up the moderator group and their prefix is mod. I believe that's like a teal color. Um, the rank is 500, so they're a higher rank than player. And this inheritance, inheritance essentially just means that every permission that players get, moderators get as well. So players get dash modifyworld.star. You can think, you can pretend that modifyworld.star is actually another permission in moderator. Essentially, yeah, they're just inheriting everything that player has. And then I'm overriding the prefix in the rank um, by setting it in that moderator group. Um, then I'm adding permissions. So they inherit everything player has, and then I add to those permissions. I add bucket.command.kickplayer, 
so they get the slash kick command slash band command um, listing the band players teleporting uh, listing the players online and the slash help command um, there are way more I just listed a few here again I'll link you guys to those permission node pages um, so the administrator group I give them a prefix of admin admin is in red I believe or a dark red um, they get rank 100 so they're a higher rank than moderator again they inherit everything moderator inherits and because moderator inherit player because sorry because moderator inherits player player or administrator also inherits whatever player has so admins get this and all of the moderator permissions and whatever I specify in permissions um, so they get bucket.command.star so they get every single command in bucket so that includes slash stop slash restart so I'd recommend only giving it to you know trusted people um, down here you have the owner I do not remember what color that is um, but it is some color they are rank zero so they're the highest possible rank they inherit administrator of course which means they inherit moderator and player um, they get all the permissions commands so they can promote and demote people and they get everything every possible permission in bucket um, and that's kind of the general that's everything really um, you can do dash star I believe in permissions as well so you can go and that'll just give them every permission no matter what for any plugin that you add they get that permission so that might not be a bad thing to add um, here you can specify users but we will do that using the permissions command so I'm just gonna erase everything there and let permissions do that themselves um, so the first thing now we get now that we have our permissions.yml set up and ready to go we're gonna just run our server which means I should also run the client Okay, sorry everyone, I had to open up another launcher to get Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, I also want to make a note, do not remember, do not remember, remember to reload your server or stop it and restart it um, or else the new permissions won't be loaded in. Um, so we're going to multiplier, direct connection and connect to the local host. <clears throat> And once I'm in the server, we're just going to do a test for chat. And you can see the prefix I get, which is a white parentheses, a gray guest, and a white parentheses, a white name, and test. That's exactly what we want, so it's perfect. Um, we also took away the build command, which means I should not, there you go, I should not be able to break anything or place anything down. And I forgot to give myself something before I took away that command, so I can't show you that you can't place anything down, but I promise it works. Um, I won't be able to place anything. So um, now with permissions, you get a few commands. So if I go to my console and write PEX and press enter, it lists a whole bunch of commands. Um, biggest one you'll need to remember is PEX promote and then a username. So I can promote, uh, promote myself and it says user Chris1056 has been promoted to the player group, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to do another test, and there you go. So player green, and now I should be able to destroy things and send private messages. But of course, I'm in the spawn area, so I won't be able to destroy things anyway. So let's run over here. Hopefully, I'm definitely out of the spawn area. There you go. So now I can break things. <laughs> That's funny. OK. So now as a player, I can break things. Oh man, it's lagging. All right, so then we do Permex, Pex, oh, Pex Promote, Chris1056, and I should be promoted to the moderator group, and hit test, there you go, I have mod, slash kick, actually I don't wanna test that one, uh, teleport command. Yeah, so there it goes, I can teleport slash TP myself, Zero, zero, zero. Definitely under the world, so I'm gonna die. Or really high? I don't know, so I'm somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the teleport command. And then we do, there you go, yeah, I died. <laughs> there we go, I'm back up, 
And so that gives me those few commands and we do pex promote again and I become an administrator in which case I get way more commands yada yada um, promote myself again to owner oh yeah right sorry I almost forgot if you set a rank to zero um, you cannot you cannot promote to rank zero. Zero is the highest, but you can't promote to rank zero. So that way, administrators, if you decide to give them the permissions commands, they can't promote themselves to owners. So that's a, a neat little feature. Um, however, owners, you'd have to manually go in, find yourself, and change that to owner. Save it, do a quick reload, and test. And there you go, so owner in blue. Um, so that's essentially that's permissions X. Um, it's a really good plugin. There's a whole lot more you can do with it. I will give you guys links to wikis and whatnot, and hopefully you guys can get started and start learning about it. Um, now YML files are YML files are really really touchy, um, so you're probably gonna have a really big pain time figuring those out. Um, really important points is only use spaces. Tabs will cause it to break. Um, and at least two spaces from here to here and here to here. Um, best way you can learn is play with it and figure it out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you guys have any requests for specific plugins, uh, you can request those. I also develop plugins. I make them. So if you guys have requests on certain features or whatever, you guys can request those as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you guys hope follow me on Twitter, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching.